we are live hey guys so I was having some issues getting on here today it kept telling me there was poor connection but hopefully it's working hey bud make sure to shut that my little guys outside with me hello good morning it's super bright I didn't know where to set up out here but I just wanted to be outside so hi Sandy my little guy is over here playing Legos and he's running away from wasps and uh, you know all that oh you're gonna go inside because it's too hot <laughs> it's like it's not quite nine o'clock here I think I don't know you guys might know what time it is good morning got my coffee Oh, thanks, my flower backdrop. Yeah, I just wanted to be outside. I was about to work on the garden. Um, we have to plant some things and I gotta water everything. So um, I remembered that I got something in the mail yesterday and I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys before I get started. I think our family's gonna do something today because my husband's home and he doesn't work today. And pretty soon he's going to be traveling a crap ton. So we're gonna do something with the fam. Okay, well. Hope you guys have your coffee. If you're drinking coffee or whatever. Good morning guys. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. So, um, I want a giveaway. Oh, I have some I have something coming in the mail on Tuesday from you. Hi Amy. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, okay, so I want a giveaway and um, I recently found um, another junk journal channel and it's Paper Pixie. Um, I think her channel's maybe a little bit newer. I can't remember, but it's new to me. And um, I saw that she was doing a giveaway, so a lot of times I don't really enter giveaways because I don't know, I just, I don't. Um, oh wow, it's six o'clock where you are. Yeah, it's like nine o'clock in the morning here. I literally rolled out of bed. I, this is makeup from yesterday. I slept in this. <laughs> I know you guys didn't care. Um, oh, that's so sweet. So, um, yeah, she was having a giveaway and I was like, okay, I'll just enter this. And um, so she was hosting the giveaway and then um, someone from another channel and like an Etsy shop, which is GT Designs and Vintage Supplies, she was hosting this, the giveaway prize. Does that even make sense? So Paper Pixie was doing the giveaway and then Renee was the one giving the prize, like donating the prize, I guess. And I was so surprised that I won. Um, I, I do have pretty good luck with giveaways, to be honest. So um, <laughs> I seriously have won a lot of giveaways. So I, I stopped entering them. I know that sounds stupid, but um, yeah. So yeah, I was so excited because when she was showing the prize, I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, I would seriously be so excited if I won this because it's a junk journal kit. Now her junk journal kits are amazing. They're like not anything like my, I think my, yeah. Hers is like a full kit, a full kit that you can make like a complete book with. Oh, hi Frank and Joseph. Hello, hello. Yes, okay guys, so. Oh, and Frank, I actually just uh, finished one more of your books last night. It's a garden one and I am gonna have a hard time giving it up. I made two others actually um, that are the garden style. I'm gonna put one on my Etsy shop. Anyways, let's get into the prizes. So she sent this amazing kit of like vintage goodies um, for a junk journal or you know, whatever, but I'll be using it for a junk journal. Okay, I'm gonna just get right in. I hope it's like super bright on this side, but hopefully that's okay. So first of all, she included a book. And so if you guys haven't checked out her channel and you like to, you want to buy junk journal kits, go follow her because she posts, um, she posts what she, her kits are on her video. And then obviously you can go purchase them on her Etsy shop. I've never been able to catch one. They always go so super quick. But, um, so maybe if you follow her on Etsy, you will be notified like when she has listings. I know she said she was going to have more for Father's Day, I believe. And then Paper Pixie also makes really great uh, junk journals. So, okay. So here's this book. Now the color theme is like pink and green, which is really cool because I, I really like it. So it's just a vintage book. I think this is like a 1970s book. And, um, oh good, Reem is here. So Paper Pixie is, um, or Reem is 
the lady, the girl, oh my gosh, the girl on Paper Pixie who hosted, who did this giveaway. I can't, you know, I haven't had enough coffee yet, guys. Okay, um, so anyways, got the book and I will probably gut this and use it because that's what I do. There are a bunch of like little bags of goodies. So I'm gonna save those till the end. I don't want everything to fall out, but oh my gosh, like such amazing trims and laces. And I just used so many laces on the garden journals that I just got done completing that I really needed to replenish and so I'm excited. So we'll go through these bags at the end. It's getting like super hot already. So she packaged this stuff up so nice. So look at this, this is all like coffee dyed papers and stuff. She showed it all on her channel, so you could totally check that video out if you wanna see a little better. I know it's probably, I hope the lighting's all right for you guys. I'm gonna open this up and just look at it with you guys. Okay. Oh, I randomly noticed that I had this doily in my room and it's pink and green um, and my mom gave it to me and I just grabbed it because I was like, oh my gosh, this matches the kit and so maybe I'll use this. I just wanted to Bring it out. Okay. What, is today Saturday or, no, today's Sunday. Okay, cause tomorrow's like a holiday, so I keep thinking. Hi, Sandy. Okay, so let's look in this little bag here. I'm gonna be squinting cause it's so hot. Um, or bright, not hot. So let's see. Lots of little goodies in here. Oh my gosh, there's like bags within bags. So there are a bunch of bags that have like little pieces of ephemera. I'm probably not gonna show it, like little playing cards. And it, she explained what everything was on her channel. A lot of it really was, or most of it really is like real vintage stuff. A bunch of these little vellum bags. That's not what they're called, but you guys know what I mean. Oh my gosh, tiny envelopes. Can you, is it too bright or can you guys see? I hope you guys can different like little game pieces, which are so fun to put in a junk journal. Um, some shipping tags and cards. Let's see. Children of rock and rollers. Whoa, great photographer. I don't know, I think this is more game pieces maybe. Like some ledger paper kind of things, doilies, important note papers. Oh, this is cool. Time cards, quite a few of these. I think she said that she got these, I don't remember if it was from her husband's work or something. It's just fun to know where everything comes from. So I love that she did a video um, explaining where everything was. A card, more bags. Bags are my favorite part of a junk journal. Oh my goodness, boy. Some doggies are going cray cray. Um, when it gets time to put the bags in my junk journals, I get super excited. I don't know why it's fun because I know that when I'm using a junk journal, I love having bags in my junk journal because I always have so many little bits and pieces that I just wanna like tuck away really quick. So, hello, welcome. Oh, I'm excited that you caught me too, Michelle. It's super bright, so don't mind the glaring book pages, vintage book pages that are super aged. I mean, there's so much. Um, seam binding, and it's a really pretty like peach pink color. Um, Dewan. You know what? I'm so confused. Uh, <laughs> your comments always, I can't ever understand them. Not, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's some kind of a glitch is what I mean. Oh, Christina says, is wondering if everyone's having a buffering problem. Yeah, let me know. I always wonder if when I'm outside. Oh, you guys are. Oh no. I'm gonna wait for a sec, I'm wondering. <clears throat> Grab my coffee. No, video's fine for you. Just got my hair in my coffee. You're not having any problem. So I always wonder when there are buffering problems like that. I'm not sure if it, it's on my end or if it's on um, that person's end, but it also seems like it would be a weird coincidence. Good for you, oh, you're still here, Frank. Okay, guys, sorry, I talk a lot. <laughs> Okay, so lots of different guest checks and things like that, like so many, like she just, oh. I am so excited because she makes the best junk journal kits of life. Now this is cool, this is some vintage paper and it has writing on it. 
Isn't it so funny that we treasure these things and put these in journals? Like, uh, my mom wants me to come over and go through some boxes of things with her because she's like, oh, she's like, you use old photos? She's like, I have hundreds of them. I was not sure what to do with them. She's like, you can have them all. So it's just so funny and it's such a cool thing that we can take these things and repurpose them and just let these pieces like live on. I love it. And you're mixing it with your own memories, which is so, I don't know. It, obviously it gets me very excited. Okay, so we have some more book pages, really big book pages. Um, some ledger paper. Who doesn't love some good ledger paper? And someone's dog's barking. <laughs> Ooh, some really pretty, um, like, what do you call this? Botanical type papers. And I love that these flip open. I don't know why, because that's so fun to have on a page and you can like open it and then it, you have more space, you know? Um, some more like really cool, this is, I think this is like ledger paper. You know what's, this is, okay, I'm gonna admit something here. I really actually don't know what ledger paper is used for. <laughs> I don't know if it's like, I, I guess I assume it's like some kind of um, uh, accounts payable type thing or accounting. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I should probably know that. Okay guys, so, hi Tiffany. Okay, so that was most of what is in here. Not really, cause um, there's just too many little bags to open up. Oh, it's like a spreadsheet. Okay, that makes sense. That's what I thought. I was just like, is there more to it? And I buy my ledger paper um, online at, uh, there's this website that I buy it from. I forget what it is. Um, I will think of it and I will let you know because it's like $2 for a pack of 50. Okay, look at this. Walmart has ledger paper? I didn't know that. That's Okay, so check Walmart because this place is online and it's like, um, I, yeah, I can't think of the name of it. So this is an album cover. I don't know what I will use this for, but I think it would be really cool to possibly somehow use this as a journal cover or something like that. I'm not really exactly sure. It's really thick. So, you know, I'm gonna hold on to it until I think of what I could use it for. Let's open up some of these little bags of goodness. Let me find where I put them. There's so much stuff, I don't want it to all fall out. Some really cool envelopes with the little windows. Um, and there's so much, I mean, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, music sheet paper. I'm trying to find those little bags that I was gonna show you guys. I don't know where I put them. <laughs> so she also added some things in here that she, um, I, I just missed Sandy's comment, that she didn't show on her video. She said she wanted to include some extra stuff for me. So let's see if I can open this. And now I got something in my eye. Okay. So guys, I hope you guys are doing something fun this weekend. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness, something in my eye. That's the thing about live videos, but I don't care. I probably wouldn't edit that out anyways. Okay, <laughs> so she included a bunch of Disney papers. The bags are on my chair. Oh my gosh, I love you. <laughs> oh, that is great. Oh yes, Reem, I love this kit so much. Like, I am so stoked because I'm actually in need of um, some laces and trims right now. And so, um, yeah, I'm so glad. You're waiting for Michael's to open. It is a dangerous place, you're right. I went last night, I actually have another haul. Okay, to share with you guys. I was thinking about doing it, just showing you guys right now, but thank you. These flowers are bound, bound to die. So anyways, just a bunch of Disney stuff, like tons. So I am excited, because I will definitely get use out of all this. You went to a barbecue, that's fun. I, I kind of want to have a barbecue tonight. Our family, we don't eat meat, and so I was trying to figure out, I usually just gr like grill veggies or something, but I might try to make some uh, mushroom burgers. You've had three hauls this week, Sandy? Yes, I know, I've seen, I, I know I've at least seen one or two, I think. Um, a Disney themed journal, would it would be amazing, but uh, you just have to be very careful with. Um... Hi, Joseph. Oh man, I haven't seen you since you're little. That's my cousin's kid. That's so crazy. 
Yes, you were little. It was, I think it was at my sister's wedding. Whoa. And now you're big. That's crazy. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I don't remember. Oh yes, about the halls. Oh, and mushroom burgers. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna make like a black bean mushroom burger and maybe we'll grill them. That would be, you know, I know you're still little. I just mean, compared to what I remember you as. How old are you? Okay, so lots of different trims. I'll, I'll take some out. Oh, my eyes are watering. Really pretty, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but just lots of laces and seam binding, or maybe this is like sorry silk ribbon. I think that might be what it is. Some bigger ribbon, just a ton. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. It's um, like a green lace. I am going to treasure this stuff. Lots of different fabrics. So let's see, that might be easier to show you guys. This is so cool. I'm not gonna undo it, but it's like um, some really, really pretty trim. I love that one of you told me my bags were on my chair. <laughs> oh, some eyelet fabric. So one thing that I don't have a good supply of is fabrics and laces. And I basically always just have enough for the projects I'm working on. I wish that I could get a good supply of that stuff, but it's very expensive. So it's hard for me to spend a lot of money on it ahead of time, you know? And I just, yeah, I usually don't buy that kind of stuff until I'm like, know that I'm going to be using it on a certain project. You have tons of old fabric. So my mom was a seamstress. Uh, she like sewed all of my life growing up. And at one point she was like, Jess, do you want all of this old fabric? Otherwise I'm getting rid of it along with a sewing machine. I was like, no, cause I wasn't into sewing or any what. And yeah, she got rid of it. Now I wish I would have taken it. They aren't vintage, but eighties or nineties. Yeah, eighties and nineties though. I feel like that's the best. Anyways, sorry guys some pretty trim there. Oh, go to Ali and get your fabrics and laces and then dye them. Like AliExpress? Is that what you mean maybe? That's a good idea. I don't mind dyeing mine, but I also don't have a ton of extra time to be doing like every little step. But a lot of times I actually dye the wax linen thread that I use to bind my books. I, I dye that. And I don't have a lot of dyes that are colors that I would want. They're all super bright. Okay, look at this, guys. I need to find some different dyes that are lighter colors because, yeah, all of my dyes are super bright and intense, and so I'm always, yeah, I don't know. Okay, look at this. Really pretty. Oh, you sent me some pieces from that stash, Sandy. Uh-oh, frozen up for Phyllis. Okay, guys, I'm probably gonna get finished up here. Don't wanna take all your day. I think it's like a hanky. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, I am just thrilled. Oh my gosh, this would, this, I might have to add a couple things to the garden journals that I just finished. Look how pretty that is. If you can see, it has little flowers embroidered. All right, guys. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much to go through here. It was fun opening it up with you guys. And so this right here, I love this. You know, that 70s vibe. I love it so much, but I really do like um, 80s and 90s. That's when I grew up. How old am I? I'm 33 or 34. I always forget. <laughs> I'm riding in the car with Tiffany. That's fun. I bet you are going to Tuesday morning or, or Michael's, but I bet you're going to Tuesday morning, Tiffany. I don't know. I could be wrong. Your mom had a dress with the, um, with the florals, maybe? Okay, so guys, yes, I am going to go in and enjoy my family. Um, I will be working a little bit, but the great thing is I can just work right there and hang out with them, but we're gonna go do something today later. Probably go to a park or something like that. Um, I like to get out every single day because when I'm working inside the house, I can get in this rut of just, I'm in a work mode and so I, make sure to get out every single day and get my kid outside. Sometimes if it's a really busy day, um, we'll even just go on a walk or a bike ride around here, but that's what we like to do. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I think this video was sideways the whole time, but who cares? <laughs> and I am all caught up on filming now. 
So even though I was sick a couple days, I filmed probably five videos over the weekend. And so um, you guys, you will have videos every morning, at least for this week. And hopefully I'll be able to keep it up. It's a little harder to keep up with videos when I'm making so many journals, but um, it's important to me. So yeah. Okay guys. Well, I'm gonna set my coffee down. I'll see you all later. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.